The story of the adulterous woman starts by the Pharisees bringing the woman to Jesus for him to condemn. The culture in those days, and in some countries now, was if a woman was charged with adultery, or accused of adultery, she was placed in a ditch up to her chest and stoned to death. This whole scene was a setup. The first seats was trying to set Jesus up so they would have something to arrest Jesus on. There are some people around you. Some people around you who don't want to see you succeed. They, they are waiting for you to fail. They have dug the ditch and they have already, they have it good and ready so they can stone you to death. Jesus knew what the woman did. He knew. His objective wasn't to condemn her, but to save her. We should take this example into the way that we deal with the new babes in Christ. Our objective should be offering salvation in Christ. Love. We should, we should never dwell on people's past sins or past mistakes. We have no heaven or hell to put nobody in. Let me repeat that again. We have no heaven or hell to put nobody in. We ain't perfect. We are not perfect by far. Before we go demonizing folks, we need to check ourselves, do self-examination of ourselves, and make sure that our lives lined up. The Pharisees' problem in this story is they had junk in their own trunk trying to judge someone else. After hearing the drama, Jesus got up, you know, let them ask their questions and try to test Jesus and, and see if they was, he was going to do something. He finally got up and said, look, you without sin cast the first stone. He caught them off guard. And they couldn't say anything. After Jesus talked, after Jesus got finished with the Pharisees, Jesus turned to the woman and asked her, who condemns you? Let me give you a little background on that. In order for the stoning to take place, there had to be witnesses of the crime. The woman answered no. And Jesus told her to go and sin no more. Jesus backed the woman in spite of her sins. Jesus forgave her of her sins. And told her to go and sin no more. We have people who want to stone people of what they had done now. And what they had done in their past. To those I say, check yourself. We all have sinned. We all have come short of his glory. You throw stones at somebody, before you throw stones at somebody, please make sure that your own house is in order. Nobody's perfect but God. So let's kill the sanctimonious attitude that we have floating around in the house of God. He without sin cast the first stone. All of us have Messed up. So nobody can throw any stones at anybody. Jesus gave us an example of how to, uh, to deal with people who have fallen into sin. He talked to her in love. He forgave her and set her on her way. When Jesus talked to the woman, he did not diminish her. 
The body of Christ has to go back to the teachings of Christ. We're not drawing because we're too busy stoning. I'm going to leave you with something to think about. My message to you today is to check yourself. Get your house in order. Deal with your mess. Because remember, again, you're not perfect, I'm not perfect. We all got some mess in our claws. So before you go telling people they're going to hell and going and, and picking up stuff and and say, see, look, er, er, Jesus come back, er, er, this person going to hell right here. Let me put you, let me put you on notice. You're not the judge. Your job, right? Your job is to go out and grab some lives. Your job is to go change lives. That's what your job is. Your, jo- your, job, your job is not to try to play God. That's not your job. Our job is to go out into the hedges and highways and compel men and women to come to Christ. That is our job. Our job description is clearly written in Matthews 28, 19. Go ye into all the world and teach and preach the gospel to all nations. That is our job description. We need not deviate from the job description. We are not judge, jury, and prosecution. That is not our job. We need to check ourselves. Because the people that we so-called condemning and throwing stones at it, they may turn around and get saved. And one day, when they, uh, when you die or whatever, you may see them in heaven, and it may be and some the same person that you so-called condemned. Be careful. Be careful. All I can say is please check yourself. Be blessed.